Hello. Ciao. I am an Italian here right now. But I need to film a regular, not vlog video. I'm gonna talk about the HRT Plateau. Most things by HRT, not all, because there are real scientific results, but most things are anecdotal. So what do I mean by the HRT Plateau? Well, anecdotally, I believe that around the six, around the six month mark, you start to notice the effects of HRT less and you start to feel worse, like, you know, six to eight, maybe even a year, you start to feel like your progress has stopped. Obviously that isn't true. You are still changing. Um, HRT is doing its thing. The reason I think that this happens is because when you first start, your HRT usually aligns with your social transition and this is like your first time to experience being a, a woman. You take the HRT, you wear the clothes, the makeup, at the very start of your transition, you will look the most feminine that you have ever looked up until that point. You get to be perceived in some way as a woman and that is awesome. You get to show yourself that you are this and this is what's gonna happen, this is your life. And it's so exciting and so euphoric, but your brain gets used to that really quickly. Unless you take like weekly photos, your brain will be like, this is me now. I have always looked like this and it will kind of forget what you used to look like. It's so different for everybody and there's not a lot of tests on HRT or trans people in general. So you'll hear a lot with any questions you have about taking HRT, um, YMMV, which is your mileage may vary. In my personal experience, it was about six months. I had all the excitement and joy and the first six months were amazing. And then I hit that point where I was like, whoa, okay, I don't pass. I haven't seen any changes in a while. This sucks. <laughs> Sometimes I think that I look like my pre-transition self. We look nothing alike. <laughs> We're two very different people. You kind of see your, your core features as gendered. And it's not really something that other people notice. But yeah, you kind of see those core features as masculine rather than just core features. And that can trick your brain into like giving you dysphoria. That's kind of why people go for, for FFS, for female, what? Femininizate, okay. Face feminization surgery. I didn't forget that, I knew. Some people go for that because um, it's not for others, it's for themselves so that they can recognize themselves in the mirror as female and not be as dysphoric. I talk about how like, and I talked in my last video about how the six to eight month mark was definitely the low point of my transition. I looked at my initial eight months and I started crying. She had it rough. <laughs> she did not have it easy. And it kind of affected my, my mental health. I used to get dysphoria a lot and it took me a long time to even know that I was passing because I didn't take any photos and I spent like months thinking that nothing had changed when like tiny little changes were happening that it's like hard to notice when you see yourself every day but really easy to notice in retrospect. Is there anything you can do to stop this from happening? No. Try not to focus on it. Um, HRT transitioning it can be all encompassing it can take over your entire life which makes complete sense because it's a huge thing that you have to do and you kind of have to just trust the process I'd say something you can do is experiment with your outfits experiment with like getting your nails done getting your eyelashes done getting your hair done nicely just working on your skincare something else that isn't about your body focus on hobbies do something else do something that entertains you and just try to take your mind off it see friends anything you have to remember this is like a puberty and puberty is really awkward but you will get to the to the you know three five ten year mark this part of my transition like the three year mark is so much easier than when i first started and i would say that Every day is kind of the height of my transition, every new day, especially because recently my boobs have been growing and I'm at the three year mark. 
they shouldn't be growing. But they've been doing a lot of growing at this three year mark. So that's kind of, I'm not complaining. I would like it to continue. But that's kind of cool. Obviously, there is an argument to be made that um, if you feel that you're plateauing, there's no real way to tell other than getting your HRT levels checked whether you are or whether it's in your head. So if you are really worried, get your levels checked. And if they're correct, then chill. But if they're not, then you can work on changing your medication, kind of fixing them. They're quite easy to fix. If you have changed your medication recently, you should wait a month before getting your levels checked. I had a stage where my levels weren't correct. They were still in the female range, but they were too low. And I had to switch from gel to, well, I went from gel to more gel to less gel to more gel to patches. And I stopped her patches because in the UK, we don't have injections. Them sound. If you've experienced this or you think that you're in it right now, get in the comments. I actually would be really interested to know what people think of this, if they've experienced it or if they just kind of skipped it and they never had it because that's kind of, I'm jealous, but that's cool too. Yeah, if you have any experience in it or if you have any advice that's better than my advice, but not too good because this is my video. It can be like just under my advice, at like a level of good, you know, but not too good. Also, drop in the comments anything you want me to talk about that might be interesting to transition fashion give me some fashion stuff to talk about i don't know whatever if you want me to talk about world politics then uh i'll give it, I'll give it a go i'll give it a try you have to subscribe legally it's the law please